हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू कास्ट चैनल माई नेम इज रत्न किशोर इन दिस वीडियो आई मेनली डिस्कस अबाउट फाइंडिंग मैक्सिमम एंड मिनिमम वैल्यूज प्रेजेंट इन ये नंपै यार फर्स्ट आई विल शो वाट आर द डिफरेंट फंक्शन अवेलेबल वित् नंपै टू फाइंड औट दि मैक्सीम इन ए नंपै यार The first one is max function. Second one is n i n max function, and the third one is maximum function. In addition to these functions, numpy n d array object is also having a method max. So in the same way, we have three functions and one method associated with numpy library to find out minimum value in an n d array. Now I will show the use of all these functions by using the Jupyter notebook. First, we need to import the NumPy. I am importing the NumPy library with an alias np. First, I am considering NumPy max function, which returns the maximum value from a NumPy array. Here, I am mentioning the three different formats with this max function. So, in the first format, the max function takes nd array object and which returns the maximum value present in that nd array object in the next case along with nd array object it uses a keyword argument axis if it is zero it returns the maximum values across all the rows present in that nd array if you make axis as one which returns the maximum values available in that nd array across the columns now I am creating nd array object array one from a list. The list is having ten, thirty, twenty, forty, ninety as elements in that. Then I am going to find out the maximum value from this array one. For that max function, I am passing array one as argument. I am running this cell. Then I got ninety as the maximum value among all the values present in this array one nd array object. Next, I am taking another object array two. I am creating an numpy array by using array function with the first row elements as 10 20 70 and the second row elements as 50 40 30 and then I am displaying the array to object then I got nd array object with two dimensions then if I use the max function with array 2 then I will get the maximum value present in that nd array that is 70 next I am using max function with keyword argument axis is equal to 0 then which returns all the maximum values present in that nd array object array 2 across the rows i'm running it then among 10 and 50 the maximum is 50 then i got 50 here and then among 20 and 40 the maximum is 40 i got 40 here among 70 and 30 the maximum is 70 then i got 70 here so across the rows i got maximum values then i am displaying maximum values across the columns by using keyword argument axis is equal to 1 i am running it then i got the numpy array with element 70 and 50 where 70 is nothing but the maximum value present among these three elements and 50 is nothing but the maximum value present among these three elements so we can consider the axis is equal to 0 to move from top to bottom and axis is equal to 1 to move from left to right next i am considering a max function with an numpy array which contains nan as an element where nan stands for not a number here array 3 object i am considering with a numpy array containing the elements 10 4 nan 9 and then i am going to find out the maximum among all the elements present in this numpy array array 3 Here I got n a n as the result. Since NumPy considers n a n as maximum positive value, then automatically the max function returns n a n as a maximum value whenever we have n a n as one of the elements present in that NumPy array. To overcome the issue with n a n's, we have another function in NumPy that is n a n max. This function returns the maximum value present in that NumPy array by ignoring any any elements present in that object now i am considering the same array 
as input argument for nan max with max function we got nan as a maximum value in array 3 but because of this nan max function we got 10 as the maximum value present in that array 3 to explain further i am considering another example for numpy array here array 4 is the nd array object which we got because of the array function this nd array is having 3 rows and 2 columns see the first row values are 23 and 45 Second row values are NAN and 3. Third row values are 34 and NAN. Now I am going to find out the maximum value in array 4 object by ignoring the NANs. In the same way, maximum values across the rows I am finding with axis is equal to 0 by ignoring the NANs because of this NAN max function. And also I am getting the maximum value across the columns by using the axis 1. Let me run this cell then here the maximum value is 45 and since axis is 0 it considers the values from top to bottom and it returns the maximum as 34 and 45 similarly in the third case since axis is equal to 1 it considers the operation from left to right then among these two values 45 is maximum among these two values nn is ignored and we can get 3 as the maximum and among these two values nn is ignored and 34 we can get as the maximum next let's look at max method associated with ndra object here the functionality of the max method is same as the max function available with numpy now i'm considering one example for the max method i am taking same array 2 here then i am finding the maximum value among all the elements present in this array 2 by using the max method similarly i am using the max method to find out all the maximum values present across the rows as well as across the columns by using the max method here we got the same results as in the case of max function so we can say numpy's max function as well as nd array's max method works same Finally, I am going to explain you about another function in NumPy, which is maxima, which considers two array objects. After comparing these two elements, it returns the element-wise maximum as a new nd array object. So let me consider one example for it. Here I am using array function to get two nd array objects. The first one is array 5 and the second one is array 6. Array 5 is having the elements 20, 50, 70 and Array 6 is having the elements 10, 40 and 80. And then I am using the maximum function available with NumPy to return the element wise maximum among these two arrays. Let me display it. Here the resultant array contains the first element 20 which is nothing but the maximum among first elements of these two arrays. And the next one is 50, which is nothing but the maximum among the second elements of these two arrays. And 80 is nothing but the maximum among third elements of these two arrays. So that's all guys. So these are the different ways of getting maximum values from different nd array objects. We can use the same type of functions to get the minimum. We have minimum function. We have min function. We have nan min function. And also we have a min method with NDRA object. So that's all guys. I will meet you with a new concept soon.